got to tell you guys about what I made for dinner. This is just something I found online. I had it pinned to one of my Pinterest boards and um, it was just something I hadn't tried. It's a pasta puttanesca and it has, um, in addition to the spaghetti, it has capers, olives, a can of tomatoes, crushed red pepper, um, let's see, parsley, oregano, anyway, lots of really yummy stuff in here. Oh, there's some anchovy paste. Don't get turned off by that. That's good flavor. And, um, and then a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on top. So I will link that recipe for you in the space below. So you guys, I have to show you, I got rid of the, I, I sent back the, the pink kind of yarn that I had because I just thought it just looked like an Easter basket. This is not going to be a throw for my living room. I want to find something that's more red. Um, this, though, is going to go in my one of my guest bedrooms, not the Flagstaff room, but the other one that's sort of dull. It's just got a cream-colored uh, bed, bedding set. And so anyway, I think that this long variegated yarn is so pretty with these different colors. And then the way you knit this, it looks like I have knitted these squares separately, like to make them these different colors on purpose, when really it's just how the, um, the color is changing in the yarn. And, um, so I love this kind of knitting. It's so much fun to do. Okay. Yeah. Look at the cows, you guys. They're lined up. My husband didn't finish mowing the other day, so he just started mowing now. And there's, I, we call her white face mama. She's in the lead. And then the other one, the other mama who is clearly pregnant, she looks like she swallowed a barrel. Um, she's here and the babies are behind and they're just waiting, just waiting for the grass to come over the fence. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, election day, and also my birthday. I'm 53 today. Um, and I think that my best birthday gift today is going to be that the election is going to end. And I'll stop getting all this propaganda in my mailbox and on, on the TV. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Um, anyway, just gone for a walk this morning. I've decided I'm going to start listening to my audiobooks again, which I had not done. And uh, John decided to stay home from work today. His ankle uh, was hurting him. He came home from work yesterday early. Um, for those of you who don't know, he was in a pretty serious motorcycle accident about seven years ago. And uh, gosh, when was it? Two years ago, had a complete complete ankle joint replacement. Uh, but he still gets nerve pain. And uh, anyway, he's had five surgeries and all that. So he decided to stay home today, which will be kind of nice to have him home on my birthday. So I thought I would get out for a walk this morning and... Um, yeah, I think I'll just, you know, work on putting my office together. There's really not that much to do. I just go in there and it looks a little overwhelming to me, so I stop. But I think that's going to be my goal for today. So um, I wanted to tell you guys something kind of funny. The last time I was on a walk, I passed by this house where there were cows and there was a, a bull out there. And I was thinking, is that what you call a male cow is it a bull because you know like with a a deer deer and elk like there's a buck and females are does and so I was like what do you call a male cow so I looked it up <laughs> I, I looked it up online on my phone as I was on this walk and I was promptly reprimanded by answers.com for asking such a stupid question because it said there is no such thing as a male cow <laughs> and then it said but for those of you who aren't familiar with cattle, um, basically the person was saying, I'll humor you with an answer. So anyway, yes, it is a bull, but, um, and if it's, if it um, has been castrated, it's a steer. You guys probably already knew that, but I was reprimanded by answers.com. Hey you guys, um, John is taking me to um, this restaurant tonight, Cucina Rustica, and um, it looks really nice. So uh, let me show you, and I'll try to remember to 
uh, snap pictures of my food. Well, I totally forgot to take pictures of my food. It was all amazing. I had a linguine, it was called linguine paradiso. It was meatless. It had um, a portobello sauce and uh, with goat cheese. Um, John had a cheese tortellini, which was really good. I had this amazing appetizer with fresh mozzarella and a bunch of stuff. and. Um, and then lemon cheesecake for dessert. So anyway, all in all, nice way to spend my birthday. And we're on our way home. Hi guys, it is Wednesday morning and I am in Flagstaff this morning. I am um, on my way into um, to my building. I just dropped John off at work. I have a couple of things to take care of in my office. Then I have a meeting to go to um, about retiring. Um, so learning all the ins and outs of not retiring from, you know, like collecting social security, but retiring from the Arizona retirement system, which is what I'm planning to do in just over a year. Hey guys, I'm in Michael's right now. And I'm looking at, look at this, isn't that cute? It's a DIY project kit for making a little Christmas village out of paper. Like cardstock kind of paper. That's so cute. It's all glittery and okay. it's really cute. This is all decor for um, gifts. So you guys, I just went inside. Um, uh, back over to my building and um, my friend Vicki, my sweet friend Vicki, left me um, in the box outside my office door a little birthday card. It says, eat cake for breakfast. <laughs> I love that. And um, and then inside it says, hope your birthday is a big slice of happy. So cute little card. And she got me this uh, bottle of, it's shampoo bath and shower gel by philosophy, live joyously is the name of it. Here it is, you see that? It smells amazing, really amazing. And um, yeah, so that was really sweet. Uh, I, I got a little bit of work done. Um, ugh, I'm trying to put some of this stuff away. My car is turning into a mess. Um, I got a little bit of work done. I wrote a, a recommendation letter for one of my students who she was in a couple of my classes in her undergraduate program and uh, she is applying for a doctoral program and so she needed me to write her a letter of recommendation so okay I'm sitting here in, in the parking lot waiting for my mom but I wanted to tell you guys um, I I went into um, a grocery store was it, it was yesterday. Um, John and I were in this grocery store and uh, we got up to the register and we had a lot of groceries that we had unloaded and put on, put out um, on that little, you know, carousel thing and um, realized that neither one of us had our wallets with us. I had taken mine out of my wallet to pay for something online or whatever and John often leaves his wallet at home by accident. And so we were like, oh my gosh, well, I then remembered that when I got this iPhone 6 that I have, that I got a few months back, um, that I had entered in, you can enter in a credit card. And so I, at first I thought, well, I don't know how I feel about that. But you know, I've got the, there's a passcode on the, on the phone, um, but I've never used it. And apparently you can't use Apple Pay in just any location. It ha it's only particular places. But I got up to the register and I said to the to cashier, I said, we forgot our wallets. And I said, do you guys, can I pay? I mean, do you guys have the ability for me to pay for my phone? And they said, yeah. So I didn't even know what to do. So they're walking me through how to do it. You just okay, you guys, I'm going to end 
this vlog with a little bit of a haul to show you what I got um, at Charming Charlie today with my mom. So uh, I started out and I got a pair of pretty good size hoop earrings. I, I want to try to start going for some bigger earrings. Um, I also got this really big pair of earrings. They hang down, not like they don't touch my shoulder, but they are pretty big and I wore them for a little while and they are a little bit heavy and they I think I'm gonna have to ease myself into getting used to them so they don't hurt my ears um, because they're posts and not hooks they don't actually like pull the earring hole down so it's not gonna stretch out my ears but it's just heavier than what I'm used to this necklace I really like a lot it's um you know kind of a tarnished silver look just has all these little charm sort of things on it and some earrings to go with. Um, this, by the way, was $10. This was on sale for $5.99. This necklace here was $14. Um, this necklace is another one I got, and it has ear matching earrings. It has like three different necklaces, um, and this was $7.99. And then this one... I thought was just a basic, you know, kind of go with everything kind of a necklace. It's got earrings as well. Um, this one was $6.99, but it was on the clearance rack, so it was buy one, get one free. So what I've got is this necklace here for free, which I thought would be, well, if we could turn this, which I thought would be nice with certain um, summer t-shirts. I thought that would be kind of cute. And then it's got earrings too. I don't know. I don't know. I think the earrings might be a little much with that kind of a necklace. But then, okay, so that came to about $45. And then what I got, this is different, um, but I got this bag here. It's like one of those, it's sort of fuzzy, like the like a hunter's shirt, you know? And uh, I just, I don't know, there was something about it that just caught my eye. I thought this would be a really great bag for when I just load up my stuff, my computer, my everything, and go up for the day to Flagstaff and have my lunch in there, and my water bottle, and my computer, and everything. Um, it's pretty much just a cavernous pit with a few little pockets, and a pocket on the back. Uh, it's got a flat bottom with little feet on it, but um, and pretty good size, and I love it. This was $49. So anyway, that is what I got for my birthday from my mom, along with a really nice lunch. And so uh, we'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Mm -hmm.